Alright guys, to pick up where we last left off, uh, I came up here, uh, we let everything soak overnight in liquid smoke and teriyaki marinade. Uh, we've had two buckets of meat uh, cut into jerky strips and both of those have been sitting in the refrigerator just soaking up in, in the liquid smoke and the teriyaki marinade. So now I'd like to show you guys what happens next and that is that basically um, for the smoked stuff, you basically are gonna be putting some salt and pepper on it maybe or whatever kind of seasonings you like. Uh, no particular recipe, we're just salt and peppering ours. And uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. And then you skewer it with a toothpick and then it'll be ready to take out to the smoker. Okay, here you see my mother and sister and they're sitting here basically salting and, salting and peppering some uh, jerky strips that have been prepared and they've skewered them with toothpicks and we're gonna hang those on some racks outside in the barrel offset smoker this is the smoked uh, the stuff that's been marinating in the liquid smoke and the stuff that uh, was marinating in the teriyaki is already ready to go I believe so John and I are gonna go ahead there's John right there we're gonna go ahead and go out with the teriyaki and start hanging it from the racks. In here is our batch of teriyaki. You can see uh, it's already been skewered and with toothpicks and it's ready to hang on the racks outside. This has been marinating overnight in the refrigerator in some marinade sauce for teriyaki. That smells pretty good. I know you guys can't smell watching it, but oh man, I can't wait to try this. All right guys, we're out here. We're gonna prep our offset smoker and I've done a lot of cleaning on it with a wire brush. I just wanted to get all the excess stuff. We've used this for barbecuing and whatnot and I wanted to clean out as much of the junk as I could just in case I get any weird flavor in my meat. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some grating in here and I'm gonna show you guys all that. If you guys have one of these, you'll kind of get an idea of how to use it. I've also done some upgrades to this smoker. Um, I took out the factory thermometer and I put a new one in that actually does degrees instead of telling me whether or not the thing is just hot or cold or warm or whatever. Uh, I'll actually be able to measure heat and degrees and that's what I want for smoking is I want to keep my temperature between 150 to 175, maybe 200 degrees, uh, but not so much 200 degrees because that can dry out your meat. Uh, a lot quicker and I just want to kind of slowly smoke this the slower you smoke it the better it is the better the flavor and uh, we've got a lot of supplies out here that I'm going to go over and uh, show you what we're going to do so bear with me and we'll take you through the process okay guys I want to show you what I've done here I've basically taken the old thermometer out and we put in one that you can see that between 150 well between 100 to 200 degrees it says smoke and then between like 200 and 225 degrees on up to uh 375 degrees is barbecue so i just wanted something that i could more accurately see what was going on inside here basically i'm going to open the lid and uh show you that we have nothing inside other than you know the top grate that's kind of permanently stuck in there but uh have got all the gratings set off to the side over here on the ground John's going to grab those and we're going to put them in and we're going to start uh, basically loading them with meat. So we're just going to put our racks in. I've taken out the tray that houses the charcoal for the main component here. And uh, you'll notice that the offset smoker section has no racks in it either. We're going to put those in as well. So let's just get these racks in. These racks, thank God, break down into threes. So it kind of helps us maneuver. Basically, I've got a whole rack system here that I can hang meat from. And uh, we're going to do one rack at a time and lay it in there, basically, is what's going to happen. But uh, we're going to get this thing set up. And we're going to build a fire in this little smoker here. Charcoal's going to go here. And we have a little thing that once we have a charcoal fire going on, we'll have a metal basically box that has our wood chips in it and it's going to sit directly on the charcoal and it's going to start smoking and you'll notice over here that there's a hole that goes in there and all the smoke's going to drift over here into the main compartment and it's going to smoke our meat for us all right i'm going to shut the camera off and uh, finish up 
preparing this little area and then we'll turn it back on when we start loading meat onto the racks. I wanted to go over some things that we have out here, some of our gear to do this stuff if you will. And uh, you'll notice over here I've got basically some hickory uh, smoking chips in a bag and it's going to help us out. We're going to do a little mix with our apple wood chips that I have over here. And uh, these two together will kind of mix it and we're going to end up putting it into this guy right here, the barbecue uh, stainless steel wood chip smoker box. Basically this is going to sit on our charcoal and uh, it's going to help uh, smoke basically. And uh, we have charcoal here, Kingsford, nothing special, just Kingsford charcoal. We're going to start it in a charcoal chimney using some lighter fluid. And other than that, that's about it. Oh, and plus the most important thing I should have mentioned is we're going to be handling all the meat with plastic gloves because we don't want the basically stuff to permeate our skin and like make us so we smell like jerky for the next 10 days. So uh, it's a good idea to wear some gloves while you're handling the meat always. And other than that, we're going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. Alright guys, I've got a bowl of warm water out here, right here, and I've got my wood chips, I've got hickory and apple, and I'm going to go ahead and take a handful or two handfuls of each one, and I'm going to soak these wood chips in some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open, I think this one's already open, I'm going to open this one here with my pocket knife, and uh, I'm going to grab a handful out of each one of these bags and put it into our bowl here and uh, totally submerse them in some water to soak them. We'll probably allow them to soak for about 20 minutes. So we've got about a handful. And uh, I don't know, my hand's going small, but we're just going to kind of scatter them out and then I'm going to get a handful of hickory. That was after what I just put in there. I'm going to get a handful of hickory and, uh, and then I'm going to kind of keep adding some to it until I get a whole bunch. Another handful of apple wood right here. Another handful of hickory and we're kind of going to do a hickory applewood mix. I've never done this before like this but uh, I'm going to kind of you know submerge them all in there and uh, grab another handful of each. So I think so far I've got three handfuls of each in this bucket here and we'll probably use this to uh, kind of mix it in and we'll allow it to soak for about 20 minutes and then uh, I'm going to put these wet soaked chips into my basically my thing over here <laughs> and then we'll be ready to start all right we're just going to kind of keep mixing during the 20 minute period we're going to kind of keep mixing our wood and make sure that it gets evenly wet <laughs> and soaked and just kind of grab it and mix it and since i'm using two different types of wood in here i'm just really making sure i and mixing it in with each other so that uh, we don't get too much of one type of wood in there and uh, yeah don't think it matters too much but for those of you who have never done anything like this before this will kind of hopefully help you guys out all right good enough let it soak for a little bit and uh, do it again all right what we've got here is we've got john and he's going to start hanging our batch of teriyaki and we're just going to kind of hang it in on these racks with toothpicks and we're going to space them out I don't know just a little bit from each other not very much and uh, we're going to hang as many as we can on these racks and uh, get a really full batch so I'm going to kind of show you guys with the camera what's going on over here in this uh, grill we've got our teriyaki batch down in here with toothpicks skewered and ready to go and John is just hanging these in here he's spacing them out maybe a finger width apart from each other maybe I don't know and uh, it is kind of being awkward. I'll try to help him and uh, make sure you have the toothpicks mm -hmm. that way. That way we don't lose anything in the bottom. And uh, we're just going to keep hanging the meat. You'll notice it's just freely hanging. And we're going to have all the smoke basically come up under and through. And it's going to smoke the heck out of these things. So, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of hanging. And uh, we'll join back with the process in the camera after we get some more hung. Oh, and notice he's wearing plastic gloves so that the stuff does not get all over him. That's important. <laughs> okay, John and I have finished hanging up the batch of teriyaki that we've got. And I'm going to zoom in on it so you guys can see. But 
we've just basically got a whole bunch of uh, meat hanging off of a rack and we've got space we could put salt and pepper on there or whatever or just regular smoke we're gonna do about three different types of jerky we decided that we're gonna try a batch of teriyaki a batch of salt and pepper jerky and then basically some regular stuff and then my sister wanted to try a little bit of random seasoning to see uh, how it turns out and we're just going to kind of do it this way but uh, our batch of teriyaki is uh, now hung we're going to go in and get the salt and pepper it's ready to go out here on this uh, grating and I think let's see what else was I going to tell you oh yeah uh, we changed our gloves between the teriyaki batch and the salt and pepper batch because we don't want to get the flavor of the teriyaki on the flavor of the salt and pepper so uh, or the other stuff so we're just kind of kind of keep uh, from contaminating flavor, if you will, as best as we can. Alright, thanks. We're gonna go in and grab, uh, grab the other stuff. Alright, we've got all of our teriyaki hung. This here is basically some, I think it's McCormick seasoning, some random stuff, different seasonings uh, that my sister wanted to try in a smaller batch. We're gonna go ahead and hang that in there as well. And then we're gonna have a big, huge batch of salt and pepper and a little bit of regular in there. So. Here we go. Alright, let's go over and do that. Do, 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 do. Try to position the camera here so you guys can kind of watch what we're up to. We're uh, putting on new gloves because we don't want to contaminate from our old gloves. Uh, we had teriyaki sauce or marinade on our old gloves. Now we're touching a different batch. so. We're going to want to space these a little bit more away from the teriyaki, like use about three uh, rows to space away from it and we'll hang those. That way they don't touch. And there we go, another glove. All right. Actually, I'll, I'm just going to film you, John. Go ahead. There's like just a little bit of jerky there. Just go ahead and do it. I'm sure it's uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, basically he's just hanging it in there. I'm going to bring camera in so you guys can kind of get to see what's going on there it's starting to get dark out here it is 416 we're gonna probably smoke this for several hours it won't be done till either late tonight or early this morning so we should have started a lot earlier but I was tired from yesterday cutting on all that meat <laughs> and so I didn't get to up here till hell three o'clock probably mm, good stuff Smells very good. That's it does smell good. I'm I'm kind of excited to eat some, but uh, it's got to cook first. <laughs> That's true. We're gonna go ahead and finish hanging this, and then we're gonna go in and get our other batch of salt and pepper. Uh -huh. That looks good. Man, it smells good too. All right, I had to come inside and uh, see what the progress is. Looks like they've got everything ready to go out. Uh, sorry about the shadow. This is all salt and pepper jerky. That's quite a bunch to hang on the rack out there. Hopefully it doesn't fill up our whole whole smoker, but uh, quite a bit there. And uh, yeah, the shadow doesn't work good with the light, but lots and lots and lots. And then over here, this little batch in the corner right there is uh, regular. It just doesn't have any seasoning on it at all. It's got uh, liquid smoke marinade basically it's been soaking in overnight and then this stuff's kind of random seasoned I don't even know what's in there <laughs> what is that stuff this here is cayenne pepper right here these cayenne. couple strips here is lemon pepper lemon pepper I wonder what that'll taste like what's this one? just cracked pepper cracked crack pepper. pepper okay well we'll try it out we'll hang it all out there and we're gonna fire up the smoker once we get this stuff hung up but uh, here's the seasonings they've been using some uh, Morton salt some garlic salt I'm not sure what all this is Montreal steak seasoning Kirkland's uh, what is that stuff it's uh, some black pepper grinder stuff <laughs> and regular ground pepper sorry about the lighting in here guys it's not that great uh, pure ground pepper and uh, some other what the heck is this stuff oh nice and stuff right here cayenne pepper and uh, what does he got garlic powder did you guys use any of that mm -hmm. Didn't use any garlic powder. How about mm -hmm. lemon pepper? Yeah, lemon pepper seasoning. And that's pretty much what they've been in here doing. And uh, they used round toothpicks for uh, hanging the stuff. It works good. These double sharp round ones. All right, let's go take this out and get it hung. 
All right, guys, we've got our regular hung right now. You can see all that meat just hanging in there. Over here's our teriyaki. And uh, a little bit of peppery, a little more peppered stuff right in in this area right here is all peppered. But this stuff right through here is all teriyaki. And this stuff right here is all regular. Well, it's all regular. Uh, we're going to finish out this rack with salt and pepper, probably basing from here over. And then we got a whole nother rack to put salt and pepper on. So, yeah, we're getting there. It's just time consuming. All right, guys, we've checked on our wood chips. They're nice and soaked. They've been in here for actually a little over 20 minutes. they are uh, been soaking for about half hour, maybe, while we've been loading these racks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the charcoal chimney. I've already poured charcoal into this... Uh, charcoal chimney here and I'm gonna go ahead and start the charcoal and uh, we're gonna put the charcoal down here on this grating and here's all of our jerky that's being uh, finished up being hung we hung little short pieces up here on the top rack and all of our longer pieces were hung on the bottom rack and that's important to tell you because I forgot to tell you earlier but uh, most of our long pieces are down on the lower rack because there's more room and up here obviously just for space efficiency we put the shorter the shorter pieces all right I'm gonna go ahead and start this and uh, get things going here all right I put some newspaper underneath the charcoal chimney I'm gonna put some lighter fluid inside here and we're gonna light it up Okay guys, we've got our charcoal smoker completely loaded with meat. And it's kind of dark outside, so this isn't showing up probably very well for you guys. But, over here, we're going to start our charcoal first. And I've already put lighter fluid in it and some newspaper, as you can tell. I'm going to go ahead and light it with the barbecue lighter. Get it, get it started anyway. Try to... This stuff up. All right, let's let it burn for a second. We'll start. It's really cold outside. I would say it's well below 30 degrees out here, and uh, we're all freezing. But uh, this fire is going to make us all a little bit warmer. <laughs> and the smell of this jerky out here is awesome. I'm surprised the coyotes and the dogs haven't tried to like come raid our barbecue grill. <laughs> but uh, I can hear that heating up, can't you? Good stuff. Yep, we're gonna get the charcoal going, and then we're gonna get our soaked wood chips in our, uh, in basically in our steel smoker box here in just a second. Okay, guys, I've unboxed the stainless steel smoker uh, box. Basically, it's just a little tiny stainless steel box with vent holes in it. The lid has vent holes in it, and we're just going to put some of our wood chips from here in here and we're going to close the box and set this directly onto the charcoal according to the directions on the box. Uh, the directions on the box basically says that it converts gas, electric, or charcoal grills into gourmet smokers and adds delicious smoke flavors to fish ribs, steak, chicken, and more. And simply place pre-soaked wood chips into the wood chip smoker box and place below the cooking grid directly on the charcoal, lava rock, or ceramic briquettes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Our charcoal is almost ready. It's over there flaming. It's not gray yet though, but it will be soon. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dump this charcoal. It's just about ready. I'm going to dump it in the bottom fire grate, and then we're going to go ahead and get our other stuff set up. So test that, make sure I'm not going to burn the crap out of myself. But uh, here we go. All right, set this off the side so it doesn't burn anything down. And uh, you'll see the fire is going quite well in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, John, can you grab those tongs over there really quick for me? They're just hanging off the end right there. There we go. We're going to kind of move some of this around. Oh, you can hear some sizzling going on down in there. Whew. I'm just going to kind of move the charcoal in, get a decent level pile so I can put my, my smoker part on there. All right. Now, right now we have the 
choke or whatever the heck you want to call it wide open and that's this thing here you can see we've got it wide open uh, and that's what we're going to use to control the heat it's wide open right now it's going to allow maximum heat if it gets hotter we can kind of muffle the heat by cutting the oxygen back so that's what we're going to do but first things first i'm going to get some uh, wood chips ready to go okay we've got our stainless steel wood chip smoker it's really cold out here it's like 20 28 degrees probably it's that cold it feels like and uh got our wood chips the water went from warm to kind of fairly cool and uh but it's been soaking in there for a while now so we're gonna go ahead and uh take some wood chips out of here and kind of drain them off real quick just kind of let them drain some of the water off of them and we're gonna spread some in this box kind of a level amount there I'm sorry I'm not very good at the lighting but we'll kind of sprinkle a little bit in there kind of like what you see here and that should be plenty all right we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on oops I missed one I might put in a little more on the corners there all right so we've got basically it's about that full Our lid on. Now we're going to take this right over to the smoker. Burr, 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 burr. Now, obviously, this is dangerous to just kind of drop this in, but I'm no stranger to danger, so here we go. There, I just sat it on there, just directly on there, just like so. It's just sitting on there. Now, here in a minute, that should start smoking, or in a few minutes, it's got to warm up a little bit first, but uh. It should start. I'll see. It's so cold you can see the steam starting to uh, go away from the smoke box when it heats up. And here in a minute it's going to start smoking really well. And uh, we'll show you the temperature here in just a second. But uh, you'll notice, I don't know, you guys can kind of slowly start to see a little bit of smoke forming through the uh, vent holes. Could be steam. <laughs> Slowly but surely, this is a good process. We'll just leave it there for a little bit and let it start smoking and then I'll come back and show you when it starts smoking. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this lid now. And uh, it's starting to smoke a little bit, barely any, but uh, it is starting to smoke just a bit in here in a minute. It'll start smoking a heck of a lot more. The hotter it gets, the more smoky it's going to get. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, the stack just a little bit over here. Probably about a quarter of the way, I'm guessing. Sorry about the camera, guys. One-handed doing all that with a tripod, even. So I'm probably going to open it, I don't know, a quarter of the way for now. Just to kind of allow when we'll be able to see smoke when it when it starts to come out of there but uh got to heat things up first our thermometer is just now starting to go into the blue and uh we're going to control the the temperature to about 150 degrees maybe a little bit higher but not much all right guys our thermometer is starting to get up there about 175 degrees that's not too bad if we start to see it get up there around 200 225 then i'm going to worry a little bit and uh, what i can do is there's a couple options to control the heat in here the first one is you can cut off all the oxygen you can close the basically the i want to call it a damper maybe at the end of the grill and that'll cut off some of the oxygen and lower the heat level or simply if it gets too hot and that doesn't work you can open the dang lid right here and it'll let a lot of heat out so uh there's methods just got to kind of keep a vigilant eye and make sure everything stays good but so far we look like we're holding well at 175 maybe 176 degrees um it hasn't really started to smoke too much yet but it will <laughs> Brr, chilly out here also, if any of you viewers have any suggestions on how maybe to control the heat, leave them down in the comments section and uh, other users and viewers can see what uh, you guys have to say about it and maybe I can learn something that I don't already know. So yeah, if you have comments to uh, leave for this video, leave it down in the comments section.
All right, guys, we've been trying to keep our temperature here roughly between 150 and 200, so we're about 175. And uh, we've been having to rotate our racks. We've got, uh, I'm going to open this up and show you, it's starting to smoke out here. Uh, we've been trying to rotate our racks. We have three racks here, one, two, and three. And basically the one closest to the fire pit, I've been taking out every so often and putting all the way away from the fire pit and then sliding the other two over and uh, it, it seems like the ones closest to the fire pit are cooking faster and eventually you'll start picking out uh, different jerky the ones that are done some of them won't be done the thicker cut ones won't be done uh, necessarily and you'll just kind of pick some of them out uh, we've been keeping a fire stocked in here with some apple wood. We've cut up some apple wood that we've had laying around. We've also used some wood chips and charcoal. And we're just keeping a fire going in there. What you see burning in there is a chunk of apple wood. And uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to rotate our racks and uh, start smoking again. Hi guys. It's about 4 in the morning. And uh, we've been smoking this stuff all night practically and I've uh, been rotating racks uh, probably every half an hour we've been rotating uh, from the farthest end to the closest end and we'll keep cycling it that way these are about done I'm going to take you guys over to the grill or well the smoker and uh, we're going to see some of the jerky we're going to start pulling out of here oh, chili it's about 18 degrees outside and the lighting is poor like I said it's early in the morning but uh, some of our jerky is uh, done and uh, this is salt and pepper jerky we're just gonna go ahead and put all the salt and pepper stuff that's done into a separate bin hi guys we've been uh, doing this all night it's nine o'clock in the morning now and uh, we've almost got all the jerky done smoked uh, there's a little bit left that I'm just peeling toothpicks off of. Uh, I'm going to have my camera come in and show you. Basically, this is some of the teriyaki right here. Oops, don't want to drop it back in there. Uh, but it's all done. And we're just going to pull the toothpick out while it's still warm. Because it's easy to pull out when they're warm. If you wait till they get cold, it's almost impossible to get them out. We'll throw them in our bucket. And uh, we're pretty much going to wrap it up. If you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, see you in my next video. Have a good day. Several hours we've been at this, uh, taking the fat off the meat and stuff like that. But anyways, with this bucket, we're going to make a salt and pepper smoked jerky. And then in this bucket over here.